In this video, I will show you how to update the firmware on a Cisco Catalyst switch. To start, you will need to locate the iOS software from Cisco.com. You can find the iOS software by going to Downloads, type in switch name, then select Software on Chassis, iOS Software, then find the software version needed and download. Note, you will need to have a service contract login to download this software. Once you have located the software, you will start by connecting your console cable from your computer to your Cisco switch. On your laptop, we need to assign an IP address. Under Network Connections in Control Panel, right-click the Ethernet adapter and go to Properties, then TCP slash IPv4. Type in an IP of your choice. Now, open Device Manager and look under Ports for what USB COM number has been assigned. In this case, COM4. Next, you will need to use PuTTY. If you don't have it installed, there is a link in the description. Type in your COM number under the Serial Line option and select Open. Now, we will create a VLAN so we have an interface to send the files to. Type in Enable, CONFT, then Interface VLAN 25, IP address 192.168.25.1255. Description Management VLAN. Then, we will assign it to the interface. Make sure to assign it to the interface that is specific to your switch. Type in interface Gigabit Ethernet 1 0 2, then switch port access VLAN 25. You can see that we can now successfully ping the laptop. Next, we will want to open TFTP application. If you don't have it installed as well, there is a link in the description. Once you are in the TFTP application, under Current Directory, select the path to your iOS file that you will be using to upgrade the switch. Under Server Interfaces, select the static IP address assigned to the laptop, which is 192.168.25.222. Open the folder with the iOS file and copy the name. Then, go back to PuTTY. Type in TFTP, forward slash forward slash 192.168.25.222 slash then paste in the iOS version name. At the end type flash, select enter, and now you should see in the TFTP application that it is downloading. This will take a few minutes. Once the download is finished, you can see that it is successful by using the show flash command. Lastly, we will need to tell the switch to boot using the downloaded file. Do this by issuing the configure terminal command, and then typing in boot system flash, then paste in the iOS file name. Then, type in wr to save the running config to the startup config. Lastly, type in the reload command to reboot the switch. That is it, thanks for watching.